Sagittarius, good morning. How you doing? So we're going to do you another reading. Uh, let's see what you've got coming up. For I'm hearing quick, 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 quick. A quick fix. Uh, something that needs fixing. I don't know. Doing a lot of maintenance or fixing. Hopefully it's not Jim all. <laughs> uh, but like Jim, John, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Justin, Jack. But like fixing something. A sink. Uh, could be something to do around a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. But like fixing. Anyway, something to do around your work life here or park life. So it might be where exercise is needed, like needing some exercise, but it could be back breaking. But whatever it is that there's an energy here of like work, 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 work. My workload is picking up and uh, I've got a lot on at the moment. Okay. Maybe needing to delegate or the name Dan or Daniel, but like needing to delegate. So like I've got so much on that I need to delegate some of this work and split it up into others because it's like grouping. I can pick up like the Okay, I don't know what I hear from. I'm also hearing grooming. I don't know what that's about. Um, but like there's this um, energy of like so much on and so much to do and it's back breaking that the only way that I can relieve some of my load is one by park life and, and some exercise here. Um, but then also there's this uh, I need to delegate and separate some of this work that I've got and give it the responsibility and pass it on to someone else or the name Parsons or a Pisces. Um, but like delegating is what I keep hearing or the name Della. Della Soul. Um, let's see. Sagittarius. So we've got the Knight of Wands. Something happens really quick. Some of you could have children. Some do the Knight of Wands is also like kids. It's also clients. It's something happening at work and it starts to happen like really fast. This is a lot more work coming in. Like this is you working here and this is a lot more work being offered. Okay. I'm also hearing the offers that something to do with around. Well, the offers is Sandy and that is St. Neots. So the offers, but like I'm offering, putting in an offer or I'm making an offer or receiving an offer. Okay. And it's something to do with around work. But this is also like clients and people like really interested in what I'm doing around my work life. And it starts to happen like really quick. Things really pick up. So if you've had a dull moment or Dan, but if you've had a dull moment, this is where something happens really quickly. Okay. Now, this could also be a new connection that a lot of you have got if it's to do with your love life. I'm also hearing Scott or Sarah or Steve or someone from Scotland. See you, Sparrow Rabbit. Come up here and I'll get you cut up. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Sagittarius. So you've got three of cups. Something to do around a Piscean. Something to celebrate. Or delegate. I keep hearing delegate. Let's delegate someone. And then let's celebrate something that happens around work. This could also be a birthday party, but it can obviously be a third party situation with a with like past and then a, a present energy here that's new. Some of you could still be tangled up with a past energy, especially if you've got children. The Knight of Wands is a child and this is like delegating some of the workload and giving it to my ex, like where the child goes from here to here. Um... If you are just in a partnership or the name Justin, but if you are just in a relationship, this is where you meet up and you go out and you do something and you, I don't know, just general stuff like shopping, going out, drinking, uh, let's see, um, Sagittarius. But there's something going on around your work. Keeps getting me to focus on money and work and delegating and promotions and offers. This is like an offer, and that's why I heard the offers. This is like putting in a huge offer or receiving a huge offer by Stephen or Stephen. <laughs> You're right, Steve. <laughs> but like receiving or receiving, because it's either being given or it's coming in. It's one or the other, but it's a stable offer here. So I'm putting in a stable offer, and it's something to do around work, finances, and money. Now, this could be you, and if it isn't happening to you, it could be Natalie, but it could be um, happening to your partner if you've got one. Uh, Sagittarius. They really do keep getting me to look at work, Sagittarius. 
uh, Sagittarius. So there you are, loud and proud. So I'm very proud of something that I've built. This is like something very stable, something that I'm building, something that I'm creating, and I'm very proud of it. It's also a partner being proud of someone. Um, unless your name is Proud. So I'm also hearing Kevin or Kev, someone that's also ginger. Yeah, Kevin, rat fans. Some of you could have, there's rat in my kitchen. What damn am I going to do? I'm going to get that rat. That's what I'm going to do. Some of you could have rats in a kitchen or you work in a kitchen, but you could also have, like, not physical vermin, <laughs> but you could have, like, this rat amongst you here. Or it's something to do around the kitchen. Food. Because it might be a foodie. It, it could be where you're buying or selling food. But this is also like, because I heard Park Life um, by, uh, what do you call it? Park Life, right? Something to do around weight. This is uh, to do around food. So this could also be like diabetic. Um, let's see, Sagittarius, two, don't know what to do, eight of swords, stuck at home, <laughs> some of you could be doing a lot of work from home, this is like home from home and feeling a little bit suffocated and a bit smothered, or mother, something to do around your mum, someone could be visiting their parents or their folks, but the eight of swords is also like this fear of uh, engulfment of like, like attachments, detachment and attachment, like trying to detach myself from someone, but I'm still attached to it. Okay. So eight of swords is also a needing to get out. And it's also like an exercise, needing to exercise energy through the 10 of wands and the ten of uh, eight of swords. So this could be Aquarius or Leo energy here, but it can also be I'm fed up and I just want to stay at home. Okay. Um, now it's also like being tied down because it's like I'm tied down into something and I'm trying to untie myself from something that could be from work or relationship, but I'm tied down in something that I might not want to be in. And how do I get out of this choice that I have to make? Like I have to make a choice between people or work, but I have to make a choice what do I, how do I untach my, detach myself from like, I don't know, a house or a building or something. And how do I get out of that and to make a decision of where to go? Okay. okay. So there are your messages that I'm kind of picking up without clarification. Let's see. Let's move the cards along slightly because the camera, what's her in Cameron, uh, chamomile, T. Cam, uh, Camtasia, something around rave music or something, uh, making music or rave music. What is the uh, Ten of Wands for Sagittarius? Four of Pentacles, saving money, Nine of Wands, gaslighting. Okay, protecting yourself from somebody that gaslights you, Sagittarius, or you're a cross watcher and you're saying it's a Sag. Sagittarius, you can have a watch it as a life path five, Sagittarius, and you can also watch Taurus readings, even if you're not a Taurus, because they are both major arcana fives, and I read in numerology. But unfortunately, I don't do Taurus readings, sorry. Um, blocking myself, protecting myself, unaware. Okay, being lied to. What is the Knight of Wands? Yeah. <laughs> An unruly two of cups, an X energy here. Someone that I keep trying to detach, attach, detach, attach. I don't want to be attached to this any longer. I'm looking for someone new and I'm looking for a new two of cups that could happen really quickly. If I'm over my X and I've moved away from my X, I could have a chance of meeting someone new. If it isn't, the past comes back into your energy or into your life uh, for a brief moment in order to reconcile here. 
because the nine of wands can be a ghosting energy. I'm not speaking to you. I'm not talking to you. I'm ghosting you, you know, all that sort of very karmic, uh, toxic relationship kind of stuff. What's the three of cups? You go back into a relationship or a new one with a possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius placement. May also have a fish in their chart that could be Pisces. This is all also delegating something new because this is like options and choices and, and what to do and what path to choose. Okay, I'm also hearing par free, the name free or par free. Um, yeah, because there was something about delegating energy here. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Because something good starts to happen, yeah, around finances and money and offers, making decisions for the future. Aquarius, whether it be a star sign or not, could also be Leo, because it's an eight. But it can also be a lucrative future, or the name Luke, or someone from up north, Manchester, Leeds, or, hey, do you want to have a Luke in the book? So it could be someone from Manchester, or up north. But... Um, I'm also hearing the name Paul or Pauline or Pucci or a Piscean uh, Paul. Um, but yeah, something going on in the future that's lucrative, that's an offer that sets the course of things to happen in the future. Because the star is like, there's more to come. There's more money. There's more. There's more. There's more. There's more. Hey, there's more. <laughs> What's the star here for? Seven of Wands. Okay, so some of you might be very offensive or defensive of somebody that is an Aquarius at work. This person that's at work, Emily, <coughs> this person that's at work is an Aquarian. And this is, uh, sorry, Emily, <laughs> uh, is an Aquarian at work. And the Seven of Wands is someone that is protecting themselves from some sort of aggression, standing up for themselves here. Because the Queen of Swords needs to make a decision to cut someone off and to cut someone out financially, and it's to do with work. I need to make a decision to cut this person and let them go here. Uh, what's Temperance for? Is the Eight of Pentacles and also the Ten of Pentacles. Sagittarius, man, you're raking it in. Moonraker, something to do around the moon. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces as well. But this is like working really hard, like tarot card readings and readers as well. And this is like earning a living doing so. But it's also like work life. Money is very good. But there's this delegating energy and this choice that needs to happen around your finances. To bring in more it's like this what's this two of pentacles some of you might be getting like a lot of karmic energy around like people saying that you're working too much or not enough energy here this is like gaslighting around where you spend too much time at work or you're not doing this and you're not doing that um what is going on with this two of pentacles because this is fatigue and tiredness and this is also like happy, but not happy. <laughs> like a roller coaster of emotions. Like I'm happy at work, but when it comes to my love life, my love life. So your love life could be a shambles here and your work life is really good. Like everything is at work is brilliant. Like work, got it covered. Love life on the other hand, eh -eh. <laughs> right? And that could be for you and your partner, but work's going really well. But as soon as I start connecting with love, it don't work here. What's the Eight of Swords? Libra. Work. Nine of Swords. Oh, somebody could be lying, gaslighting, manipulating. This could also be a lot of um, catfishing, but uh, not picking it up so much. But this is uh, legal or the name Lee or Leanne, but legal. Illegal or legal, but this is going to court. This is not talking to someone, 
hiding secrets, lying and manipulating and making them stress and the worry and also putting someone in time out. But this is also like financial because this is like tax, court situations, like income tax. It's like a lot of things, energy here. And there's something to do around the high priestess of like on a need to know basis. Um, let's find out what is the high priestess. Tell me more about what the high priestess energy is. Oh shit, Taurus. Uh, I got them all in reverse, but <laughs> it's kind of, yeah. If that come out in reverse, that's a marriage. That's a couple that's like married with children or a house or a home or something that is tethered together. That is a marriage, being married. Okay. And if it isn't you, it's your parents. But it's something to do with around that really not going very well. Okay. If it was in reverse. This is also going to court and this is also child services. Okay. So this is like needing to go to social services. So the children go here so they don't have anything to do with my ex. Instead of me having to keep seeing my ex, okay, I can take them to social services and then they can pick them up from social services so they don't have to see me. Because this is also like hiding secrets about work, about finances and work, okay? And it's like children, like somebody coming to your workplace, someone that you haven't spoken to, and suddenly they turn up at where you work here. But there are also something going on around work as well. Tax, money, work, uh, finances, whatever that is that you've got going on here. Because um, it can also be like hours, clocking in, clocking out. This is like needing to clock in a certain amount of hours and then clock out, clock in, clock out. And these are clients and people and, and whatnot as well. So there's decisions to make because it's got so many meanings. So I'm trying to pick it up what it actually means for you. For a lot of you, this is just to do with around an ex and the complication of a child that's involved. <clears throat> okay. And, and a marriage that once was that is now separated, looking for divorce or separation, something to do with kids, something to do around money and finances. Um it might also be hiding the amount of money and not speaking to my partner about money that I've got because of investments, because they might want money from me to do with around this. You kind of got that message as well, because whatever it is, it's like I need to talk about it, but I also need to hide it. But what you're hiding it or who you're hiding things from, I don't know. But there's this like affair, because this can also mean – someone that's in a commitment or a marriage, and they're also having an affair whilst they're married. But it can mean that I'm I'm married, but we're not together. And I'm looking to get divorced, but when, you know, but I'm still tethered to the person legally. That can also be finance, you know, finances and everything all wrapped up in something. But we're not dating each other and we're not seeing each other, but we do have a kid but I am free in order to be able to go and meet someone else if I want. But for some of you, you might be, or they might be, trying to keep that as a person as a backup, which means I don't want my ex to know or my present partner to know that I'm talking to someone else because how can I put this? Sometimes people, when they're in very toxic relationships, they think, okay, well, I'll stick with the one that I've got and if I meet someone during the process, then I'll swap the old person for a new person because I'd rather do that than what I would be single for a long period of time, right? So it could be where I'm keeping it a secret. I don't want people to know that I'm actually either one, still talking to my ex, or I don't want my ex to know the fact that I'm moving on and I've possibly met someone new, or I'm with someone. I don't want them to know that I am also talking to other people because I've got I've got a, a notion in my head that this is going to be we're going to split up we're going to go our separate ways and if someone new comes along then so be it right you got a lot going on here Sagittarius so I'm going to leave it at that guys uh, hold on let's give you a couple of my cards or Michael and let's see what this this says but Sagittarius. 
So Cinder fucking Rellis, three-party tea party. Well, there could be third energies. You do have that here. You do have secrets and lies within a, a commitment, a relationship, and someone possibly seeing someone else. If someone ghosts you and they, they go for a long period of time without talking to you, it might be because they're actually talking to someone else, right? So if you're with someone and they do the childish approach and they're like, right, I'm ghosting you, I'm not going to speak to you, I don't want to talk to you, I've gone silent for a long period of time, it could be because they're actually with another person or talking to someone else and that's the reason why they're not actually talking to you because they're actually spending time maybe getting to know someone else. So let's see, Sagittarius. I hide my true feelings and intentions from you, a nine and a two. So there you go, there's the two. There's the marriage, the commitment and the lies and hiding my feelings and attention, right? So there's the two and there's the nine, gaslighting, lying, manipulating, okay, here. So I hide my true feelings from you. I'm not divulging in on how you make me feel. And I'm trying to make you squirm and pay for not actually speaking to me and talking to me. So you've got someone that's trying to prove a point here. So it's a gaslighter. People that gaslight, they put you in time out to make you feel bad. So you hit things like the five of cups, right? So it's like, I feel really upset. I feel really emotional. You're making me feel really bad. Now I can't speak to you or talk to you. Now I can't trust you, so I'm going to go silent. And then that's still manipulation because that's like, but you're making me feel like I'm responsible for you. No, it could be something to do with a child, but it's like, I'm not responsible for your feelings, uh, but you going silent and now going quiet and going AWOL is now trying to prove a point without saying it to make me feel guilty that I am actually responsible for making you feel upset. So you get someone that starts to play a victim, okay? It's part of gaslighting here. Uh, let's see. Sagittarius, flirting. <laughs> I think about you sexually. There could be another person here. Sagittarius's are very flirtatious. So it could be you guys that are kind of sick to death of all this shit that's going on and you're flirting around with someone here. Um, Sagittarius. Uh, expect an argument. Well, that's kind of given here. Even though we don't have argumentative cards, but we do have a lot of stress and a lot of like, oh, I'm just about had enough because you are a five, Sag. It's pushing you to your limit here. Or it's getting you to stand up for yourself, one or the other. Um, Sagittarius marriage <laughs> five and two which is a seven could be a Cancerian or a life path seven but marriage is also Sagittarius and Taurus okay there it is here they're married already five five two trying to make a decision between a marriage and not a marriage or a third party situation or not. Okay. Sagittarius. Access to the Akashic Records. Some of you could also have ADHD, bipolar, schizophrenia, or picking up like a lot of bipolar energy here. This was like up and down, fatigue, tiredness, ADHD, or bipolar. Some could have a lot of mental health energy. Okay, I'm more interested in that than the Akashic Records energy here. That's just picking up on signs and synchronicities along the way. People that can also be spiritual, like myself, I have like five. I have Sagittarius placement as well here uh, in my first house as with, with Scorpio, Sagittarius. <laughs> Neptune is where I get all my channeling ability from. Um, but yeah, ADHD, mental health. So there you go, Sagittarius. Thanks for joining. I hope you want to join the join button below because it is now also t uh, turned into a teaching video to do with numerology, channeling, psychic ability, access to the Akashic Records, knowing how to read people, knowing when you're in toxic relationships, how to predict your life and your patterns of behavior and lessons through numerology, and how numerology will tell you a shitload more than actual astrology. So if you would like to join, that is $4, uh, three pound or three or $4 per month, and you can access it below on the join button. Okay, thanks very much, guys. Really appreciate it. See you next time.